In a previous video, I recommended that you should invest in a mini quad. Something to help you learn ATI mode or something equivalent on the Phantom without damaging your investment, banging it into trees and walls and that sort of thing. So um, getting yourself one of these, which cost about 35, 40 pounds is, is, is great because it gives you the experience of flying around and controlling a quad in ATI mode without um, obviously risking the Phantom. Now they're, they're great fun, but one of the issues is they've got small batteries. Um, the standard battery is a 240 milliamp hour battery and that just slides in the in the uh, quad there and that although advertised as giving more than eight minutes flight time doesn't so I was investigating um, getting a larger capacity battery and there are lots on the market you can buy 500 milliamp hours 700 milliamp hour batteries those options tend to be um, fitted underneath and held on with a band but um, I would prefer something a bit neater and the the 380 milliamp hour battery actually fits inside the quad it's a bit of a snug fit um, but it it does go in there quite neatly so what I thought I'd do um, is do a comparison of flight times with the the 380 and the 240 so um, excuse the flying it's difficult trying to keep a, a mini quad in a box about that size but um, here's the flights and then I'll be back with the results Okay, here are the results from the Welsh jury. Um, first of all, the standard battery, which is a, a 240 milliamp battery. Um, here are the results. And as you can see, despite an advertised flight time of at least eight minutes, it only managed seven minutes, 22. And from the time that the mini quads light started flashing to indicate a low battery to the point where the quad actually landed due to lack of power um, was about a minute so the light started flashing at 6 minutes 21 and the quad actually came down with no power at 7.22 now let's, let's see how the, uh, the 380 milliamp battery fared um, and as you can see it fared better the light started flashing at nine minutes exactly um, and the total flight time was nine minutes 29 which is nearly a 30 percent increase in flight time so well worthwhile um, but and here's the big but the thing is if you look at the amount of time difference between when the light started flashing to the time it actually landed itself the time was halved um, from one minute to 30 seconds so in reality I don't think you can go for a bigger battery if you go for a bigger battery then you just be prepared for the quad dropping out of the sky the minute it's uh, it's finished there's no luxury of uh, a low battery warning so I think 380 is the best don't go larger than 380 and a 380 battery for one of these is less than five pounds so in my opinion that's the one to go for okay 